Alright, welcome back to another tutorial series from the FPS Shooters. The thing we're going to cover in this video is we're going to do a continue button on our title screen. In the last tutorial video we made a new game and exit game buttons so that we could reset the new level marker to tell our game to start with fresh stats or start with the saved stats from before. But now we want to load them. Now this is new territory even for me so it's going to be a learning process as we go. I apologize if I mess up or do something wrong. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, We're going to make this the same size we made everything else. So do that and then kind of visually center that between the two. Give it a center. It's actually pretty good. Alright, give it a center alignment. I'll save that so we have it. We're going to drag another text box out on top of it. Make this a 48 like we did the other one. And we're going to call this Continue Game. Alright. Now we want to open the button here. Now before we can really make this Continue button work, well, we have to be able to save the level that we are currently going to first. Alright. So the first, so what we want to do with that is we need to go to the our save game stuff. So we go up under our save program. We go to our save variables. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to save the name of the level. So we're going to call this uh, level name. We want to make it editable because we want to call it from all different things. We want to make it a name. Go ahead and that. Level name by default is going to be set to none because we haven't set it to anything. All right. Now, what we want to be able to do is go through our checkpoints. Okay, you notice in the checkpoint save thing before we made this level selection, when we created the ability to have it select level. Well, we're now actually are going to go ahead and add it to this up here. We want to do it before the save because we actually want to save that information. Okay. So we are going to select that, select that. All right. So we are going to drag out off of this set current whoop, set level name. All right. So we can go ahead and connect those two and that up. So now we have to set this name. Well, how are we going to get that name? Well, we're going to do it the same way we got this one down here. All right, so we can go ahead and just actually copy all three of those. Control C. I'm up here. Control V. All right, and then just connect that up. So now, whatever we have level selection set to here, we are going to be able to change it versus this one. So whatever we set it for the checkpoint isn't going to be what it's set for the load screen. Oh, and in fact, I will go ahead and show that to you real fast. We'll open this, go to, like, say, Tutorial 01. All right. If we go over here and we look on our checkpoint, we click on that, and we have whoop, details. You see here where it says Level Selection, we have Choose Level. Well, this is this current level is level 001. Whereas when we come over here and we look at our open level, we have it set to 002. So when we cross the checkpoint, we're going to tell it that, hey, we're on level 001, save us. We're going to cross through this and we're going to be on level 002. And then we're going to have it save the level name as well that this is chosen. That way we already have the next level. We can go ahead and start it straight out with that. So we're going to go back here to the save checkpoint once it's done saving because I didn't mean to click on that. But it's always a good habit to get, it to, to get into to save your maps randomly because Unreal tends to close out quite often, unfortunately. So we're going to slide a new level over. I'm going to slide this actually above that and then grab both of these and slide these over here. I'm going to go ahead and drag off of this. I'm going to go set level name. All right. Connect these up. 
I'm going to then do another control V and hope that the other things, there we go, and connect those up. So whatever we have it set to here, okay, we're going to save that as the level name. When we cross the checkpoint though, we'll see a different name. And how are we going to know that that's working? Well, we're going to drag this here, and we're going to drag here, and we're going to go print string. Okay, we're going to have it call to the level name, and then we'll convert that to a string so that we can actually see it. Okay, so now if we save it, we play, we make sure that we have this still set. Sometimes it tends to unset itself. I don't know why, but it does. So we have tut FPS001. We play the game. We walk on down. We walk on through here. We cross it. Notice in the top corner we now have tut FPS001. That means that it did work. We did save the actual level name. So we can go ahead and delete that out. Now what if we transition levels? Well we want to know if we have the proper level saved. So we're going to do the same thing real quick. We're going to do a print string. And in that print string we are going to grab this. We're going to get the level name and then we're going to connect it. Now I'm printing it here after the save but before the level just in case for some reason this messes up with, messes it up. It shouldn't, but hey, we never know these days. So we're going to go ahead and play it. We're going to run on down here. We're going to run on through over here, through our checkpoint. We're going to go through our checkpoint and everything. We're going to cross over into the open level that we created in this corner. Notice it says tut FPS 02. So now we will be able to actually save the game. We can save the level and we can call it to start back at the last saved level when we do our continue game. I'll be right back in just one moment. I need to attend. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That wasn't long, so that's good. All right, so we have the thing. We have it telling us the level that we've crossed. We, You can see we crossed over into level two here. So we're going to actually go ahead and stop there. Okay. We're going to go back to our title screen level because we're actually going to have to have that go ahead and save the TUT001 because we're going to have to use the the continue button from the title screen. So, Okay, so what we're going to do is we can actually close out of that for now. We can keep into this. Select our button, our continue button, and then go ahead and make an on-click event for it. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to know if a saved game exists. Because if it doesn't, well, we don't want it to load anything. So there's nothing there to load. All right. We're going to create a branch. All right. So now, if we have a save file. Okay. Well, if we do not have a save file, we're not going to do anything. So this will not fire at all. It'll stay right there on the character on the continue screen or on the title screen. But if we do, the first thing we want it to do is we want it to load the game from the slot. So save underscore zero one. Okay. We're going to drag this out to cast two. Now I do multiple casts because these are all different. You know, when we fire this one here and we we're loading this, we don't have access to the values because of the lack of having this. But I don't want to create a construction. You see up here, event construct. I don't want to create the save game variable up here because that would cause us to actually create the save game. And in some, some games, it's not a bad idea. Like, you know, if you're playing Fable, you have one game, you have one save file, and that's the file that contains all of your stuff. You don't have different slots, different indexes for it. You just have the one set file. But if you're playing a game, say, like on the PC, and you're playing, uh, let's say you're playing like an old Doom, Doom game or Duke Nukem or something, 
and you had the multiple slots that you could actually save to, you would not have that ability if you did it this way. And I hope that information is right, but that's the way I understand it. If I am wrong on that, please comment in the comments below and let me know that so I can have all my, my information updated on this. Right. So we have that. Get back down here to this, okay. So now that we've casted our save file, we've casted our information, we've loaded it into the save file and all, now we need to call a few things, okay. Well, the first thing that we need to call do is we need to set... Need to set new level. Now we want to set this to false because we're continuing the game. We're not starting a new game. So we want to make sure that that is set to zero or set to false. All right. So we're going to drag off that save game because there's nothing else we have to save before we do any of this. So save underscore zero. All right. Now what we want to do after that, okay, is we want to open the level. But what level do we want to open? Well, we want to open whatever the last level was. So we want to open level name and connect those two up. So now, if this is working properly, we already have a save file. We already saved the information from level 1 to level 2. Alright, so if we load this correctly, if this works properly, we hit play, we hit continue game, it's loading a game, we should be on level 2. And as you can see here, I messed up a little bit and didn't remove the thing, but you can see in the background there we are on level 2. Alright, so let me just fix one thing here. You also want to make sure that you remove from parent or remove from viewport if you have one, if you're using one of the older styles of Unreal Engine. So now if we play it, we hit continue game, we load up on level 2, now if we fire off some stuff, we didn't mean to hit the F key, I really need to remove that, but we fire off a few things, alright, we, we cross the checkpoint, we go over here, into this corner, we cross over, we go to level 3, tut FPS 003. You can notice we're down here. We have 14 ammo and 43 current ammo. So let's see if we actually will respawn, or when we hit continue, have those two values. So we hit continue game, 14 and 43. So you can see that our continue game feature is working, and it is working as intended. Now you may have other features that you want to level or that you want to include in there may have other things that you want to make sure are in there and you would load them the exact same way that we showed you before when you do the respawn stuff that is where all values are set for the player character upon spawning into the game whether it's respawning like because you've died or spawning for the very first time all of that would still be set within the first thing so I hope you learned something from this and enjoyed the video and I will see you later and hopefully have some new videos for you